Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Transport Fever 2 Tropical Fun, and last time around got uh, a, uh, a money-making route going and a passenger line uh, on the actual water. So uh, yeah, that's uh, kind of a first for me, really, uh, a proper uh, line on the water. Uh, so uh, we're sitting here at Thornton, where I'm going to expand the network from uh, Thornton here uh, with the uh, uh, boat connection here uh, I figure a rail line maybe going up to Sacramento uh, might be a might be a, a reasonable uh, starting point here this time around but before I do that I'm gonna check in on the lines and we've got um, okay, so the boat line is not making money yet. Uh, we got a boat just arriving though, and uh, uh, let's see. And that was okay. It's it's it actually is uh, on the edge of staying profitable. So, so that's uh, kind of good. Now, if we can get some more passengers into that uh, operation. Uh, then uh, we should be able to uh, ramp up the uh, uh, the um, um, what you call it the uh, uh, usage. That's what it's called. And I really need to find a way to turn off the uh, Steam uh, pop-ups there. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a uh, train, uh, a rail line. It's going to come through and it's going to go up to uh, Sacramento up here. Now I think, yeah, so I'm just going to run it basically along the, uh, the coast here and uh, come into Sacramento. And then from there, I think it will ultimately, it will split and go up to Laredo and Ventura. Uh, that's, uh, and probably another split up to Denton. So it looks like Sacramento is going to be something of a hub. So yeah, uh, so I'll start out here. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We have three and a half million available loan wise. Uh, right, so yeah, uh, based on that, uh, things are going to be slightly uh, uh, complicated here. Uh, wh so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the train, train uh, station over here. So that's going to need a train station. Uh, and for the moment, we just need one line here. So I'll, uh, uh, we only need one platform, I, I guess. So I'll uh, put the train uh, station here. Yeah. Okay. That should, if we back this up a bit here. Okay. So that should give enough... Uh, of a gap there that uh, we can expand this uh, uh, bus station if we need to. Now, uh, we might end up adding a cargo platform in here as well. I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, it's just passengers. Now, uh, the real question here is how are we going to get through or past uh, Thornton? Now I need to go this way, so so if we do this, what happens if I go level? Uh, if I go level, force level, uh, we get uh, a little bit too high for a uh, bridge. But what I'm going to do uh, well, I'm going to want to double track this, so I'll do that. Uh, right. Uh, okay, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause things here. Uh, there's pause. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a bridge. 
since the track is uh, uh, dropped here. Uh, okay, so we should be able to get this up to bridge height here. There we go. Why do we have a bridge pillar collision? Now we don't. Okay, uh, I, I think I know uh, what I'm going to do to uh, fix that. Uh, I'm going to uh, flatten this out here with uh, another track. Now, I wish they had a way that you could keep the, uh, the gap here when you, uh, when you, uh, when you uh, remove things. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll max the strength on that. We'll up the uh, tempo on the brush size here. So what I'm going to do here uh, is not have enough money. So we'll we'll just take out our loan here and uh, get back the uh, landscaping here. Uh, so doing this should force the ground level. Uh, and that should give us a gap on either side. Yeah, see, that only almost works. Uh, so let's try this again, and we'll flatten this out uh, a little bit here. Now, hopefully, that will let me get the bridge to go through better. Uh, okay. Come on. There we go. That's better. I, I don't like how it's only got the pillar on one side. But that will, that will do. Yeah. Okay. Now, I need to, let's just get the time rolling again. Now I need to go through here. Now, I wanted to go under here so that the traffic to the port here uh, isn't uh, inconvenienced by trains. That's not so much of an issue over here, uh, but we'll still force it level. Now, is th this going to work? And But I'll leave it with a level crossing there and up here. But I need to bend around this way. So now we'll uh, go around that way. Yeah, now. I think I want to come across on this side of the, well, if I go around this side of the industry, yeah, that's what I'll do. So that side of the industry gets me a little bit more scenic uh, pathway. So I'll do that. So we'll come up here and we'll go up a bit. Yep. Okay, well that's uh, more than I, I wanted to go up. Uh, right, so now around here, we'll swing this around here. Um, what if I do this? That's way expensive. Uh, I'm going to take it though. Okay. Now, around here, we'll come along the uh, cliff side here. And again, we'll do that. We'll embank emb embankment it. Now, we come around here. Oh, look, we're going to get a cutting. Uh, okay, that really dropped it. Um, yeah, we'll let it do what it wants to do there. Now, I need to figure out where I'm going to put the station here. And that's, uh, that's going to be an important choice. But it's actually pretty easy, I think, because we can drop it in right here. So, uh, I'm going to need just the one, 
just the one platform for now, but I'll spin it around this way. And yeah, yeah, I'll put it right here. Yeah. Yeah, there seems like like a, a reasonably good spot. Uh, yeah, that angle's okay. Now, now I need to bring the track into there. Um, yeah, I can accept that. Now, uh, I'm going to want to run, I think, two trains on here because of the length. So I'm going to uh, complete the double track. Nope. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, one of the, uh, the good reasons for uh, going with the embankments along here instead of viaducts is that uh, when we get faster trains, uh, we won't have to... Um, okay, I really needed this outside track here to link up. But we won't need to rebuild the uh, viaducts. Uh, right, okay, so we'll come up here. And like so. Now, I'm going to have to wind time forward fairly fast here so that I can get the cash together to build the uh, train. Uh, but I'm going to plumb in the signals on this line while I'm thinking about it. Uh, that way, uh, we don't end up with uh, things behaving weird. Uh, yeah, and yes, I know, I probably put more signals in here than I need to. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to need another one here. Yeah, like that. And if I move this one up here, yeah, the spacing I think is better that way. Okay, so we'll remove those. Right. Uh, so I'm going to need a, uh, a Dewey for this. So, uh, track, I'll uh, do this and this and then, uh, that's not even straight, uh, right, uh, and this, yeah, that's straight. And then we can come around here. Yeah, I think that'll do. And then we can put another one of these in and double slip these. Uh, okay, so that will allow us to get trains out from a Dewey. But we need to build the Dewey now. Uh, right. There we go. We have a Dewey. Now we don't have enough cash for a train. Now, uh, how are we fixed here for uh, income? Well, 500k from road vehicles. So if we can uh, get enough, then we should be okay. But anyway, let's go in the Dewey and find out what a, what a train is going to cost us. So for locos, the D, D13... Uh, or is that one third? Uh, that's going to do 40k. Uh, and uh, the Baldwin does 40k, but it's got more power. And the class V or class 5, whatever it is, the Russian one does 45, uh, but has less power than the Baldwin. Uh, so I think I'll go with the Baldwin, and then we need passenger vehicles. Now, this one does only 40. This one will do 50, so it'll get us trains doing 45. So if I do this and this, I'm going to want at least three carriages. So that needs 1.4 mil. 
Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's going to take uh, a bit to accumulate. Uh, right, so if I uh, take this off, then I need one mil. But yeah, see, there's no point running one carriage, so I'm definitely going to run three, and then uh, then we'll see what uh, what it does, right? Uh, so anyway, we got to wait uh, for a bit of uh, cash to come in here. Uh, so uh, while we do that, uh, let's just close that out. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, just take a look around here. Uh, so what have we got over here? Over on the island here, we've got nothing. So what we would likely be doing is Carco bringing food and uh, conmats across. Now over here, uh, we're delivering tools. Uh, and we'll also need to bring oil from the uh, oil well here onto the mainland. Uh, I really need to, to turn those off. Uh, anyway, uh, right, so is there an oil refinery anywhere near here? No. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be an interesting uh, uh, problem. Well, there's one over there, uh, so that's probably where we'll take the oil. Anyway, uh, yeah. So realistically, uh, I should probably, I could probably make more cash if I added more vehicles on this line. How's Thornton doing? Uh, almost all the tools it can take. So yeah, I won't make a lot more by adding more vehicles on there. Um, what I need to do over here though, uh, before I forget, is establish a local commuter uh, connection here. Uh, so I'll do that. Um, right. So if I uh, come back here, can I get that to? Oh yeah, that's at a. That should be a fine uh, level. Uh, huh. That tendrils up to the uh, street there. Uh, right. Well, that is quite a drop. Is it better from this side? Uh, not really. Okay. Uh, what if I swap that around? Do I get tendrils over here from the side here? No. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to do it this way or the other way. Uh, let's see. So if I do it this way, yeah, I think this will work better. Uh, right, okay. So we're up there. We build a station. Now, what do... Oh! Oh! Nice. Way to go, town. Okay. We can work with that. Uh, right. Okay. So uh, we obviously need uh, one of these somewhere. Uh, say right about here. Yeah. Okay. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that, that's uh, definitely what we want. Uh, now I'm going to need some sort of a Dewey here. Um, yeah, this kind of a Dewey will do. Uh, where am I going to stash it? I'll stash it over here. Okay, and now I'm going to need um, a stagecoach, I think. And three of them, I think, will do. And this will go on a new line that will go between here and here. 
Yeah, that will do. And this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be uh, passenger uh, Sacramento commuter. Yeah. Okay. So when we have enough cash to buy our train, we will actually have uh, some, uh, well, commuters that uh, can actually get to the train there. Uh, we already have the commuters over here. Uh, they can come on the existing line. Um, okay, so we're running on max speed here. We're up to eight, 820k, so we're, we're coming net positive at 198, or around 200 each period. So... Yeah, uh, and we spent a bunch of cash this time around, so that's dropped our uh, profit, uh, and that's uh, that's to be expected. Uh, I could pay the loan a little bit, but that's not going to make a huge difference. Now, if we go in here and uh, we go in, uh, now if we go in here, no, if we go in here. And we buy vehicles. Let's see, what did we uh, what did we need? I was going with the Baldwin, right? No, I was going. Let, we'll go with the Russian, and then we'll go with the passenger car. Yeah, we'll go with the. Oh, for pity's sake! Uh, okay, so Locos, no. Uh, passenger. The Russian, and then we'll grab uh, one, two, three. That needs 1.4. That needs one. So maybe we'll go with two because we'll get a train up sooner and that'll start offsetting our uh, rail uh, running costs. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. As we're up in the 940s, 950s on the high end, so. Uh, we may be able to get up there. We only need a million forty. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that will uh, that will work. And we can add cars as we have the cash. So, yeah, that's uh, I think the way to go. Uh, ah, we were just short. Okay, uh, this next time around might get there uh, okay there we go we've got a train uh, okay so new line will go from here to here yep that's a line uh, and this is going to be uh, Thornton Okay, so this is going to be ICR, no, passenger, ICR, what did I call the, okay, no, this is going to be passenger rail, and it's going to be Thornton to Sacramento. Right, okay, now, where's the train? Okay, so now it's got all of zero passengers on board. Uh, which is to be expected. Uh, yeah, uh, so we're not going to make anything on this first trip, obviously. Uh, but let's uh, let's go over here. We've got passengers, a passenger, well, a couple to pick up over here now. So that's good. Um, yeah, uh, I'll want to put a uh, bridge in here at some point, I think. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's get the train up here so that we can so that we can uh, observe it it's uh, ticking along at uh, a decent clip so that's uh, that's good uh, and we're going to well it looks like we're we're positive we're going to be positive here uh, pretty quickly so uh, so that's good 
Yeah, once this guy actually picks up some uh, passengers and uh, delivers them, uh, we should be uh, we should be okay. We've got 22 there already. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely want a third uh, coach on there uh, as soon as we can afford it. Um, okay, so we've picked up 27 passengers, so now we'll we'll see what this uh, train makes when it gets to the other end. Uh, and uh, with this, I think that'll be the end of the part, uh, once we've established uh, what this thing is uh, doing. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so the uh, the water line is not, like the boat's not making any actual cash right now, really. I think I'm going to need uh, more, we're going we're gonna to definitely need more passengers uh, on the line to really break even there. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's not unexpected. So, so I'm not, uh, I'm not particularly worried about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, the train is uh, ticking along here. It's going to come around. Yeah, it's going past the Dewey, uh, and there it comes. So let's uh, take a boo here. Um, we've got 26 passengers waiting there, so that's good. Uh, what have we got here? What the? What did... Huh? Well, that's a graphical glitch. Uh, but uh, that uh, that made the, that particular one positive. I don't get what's happening here. That is freaking weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what's doing there. What happened there? Huh. Odd. I'll have to see if that fixes on a reload because uh, that is bloody strange. Uh, yeah. I can't say I've ever seen that happen before. See, the game thinks it's still at a lower level, so... Yeah, so we're, we're coming up uh, a little bit positive here. Uh, well, anyway, let's jump in here and go for a ride. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we're, we're uh, just ticking along here. Uh, that should be coming up on Sacramento. So, yeah, let's just uh, let's see what this approach looks like. Uh, yeah, I think that looks okay. You know, the town will eventually grow up around the station, and that'll be good. And the tracks will run on through so you know that'll be fun too so we got that mountain up on the right there that, that actually looks kind of nice and we're in the shadow of the mountain here by the look of it so yeah that's interesting oh look a flock of birds and we are ticking along at uh, 30 some kph uh, I think we're going uphill here, so that's not too bad. Adding a third carriage on here is likely going to slow it down a bit. Uh, that's one of the reasons I double-tracked this, uh, is because I think I'm going to be running two trains with three or four carriages, uh, it, ultimately, instead of one train with, say, six carriages. But anyway, we got up to 45, so uh, we've got... A pretty decent uh, run here. Okay, we've got a bit of a downhill here. Right, okay. Yeah, I see what's uh, what's doing here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're coming around here to uh, Thornton. Uh, and there's the bridge that we spent some time creating. 
And I really don't get what's doing here. That is just weird. Uh, so hopefully that corrects on uh, a, on the next uh, game reload. Uh, right, okay. So we uh, popped up to... Uh, no, no, no. We're going to borrow that. We're going to manage the vehicle here. We're going to edit it. And we're going to add a passenger car. Okay, so that gets us up to the three cars I wanted. Now let's uh, let's just take a boo in here. Uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're coming out positive on the rail now. So uh, so that's uh, definitely what I want. The third carriage here is not going to be full. I don't think. Uh, yeah, we don't want the to be messing with uh, newer uh, engines just yet. Uh, but the uh, the extra carriage uh, that is uh, slowing things down just a little bit, but that's fine uh, because we've got here thirty three waiting. So yeah, we definitely need that uh, that third carriage uh, because over here, yeah, we're we've got eighteen waiting there already. So. So hopefully, with this extra traffic here, uh, it will get this uh, passenger line over here uh, running uh, higher capacity as well. Uh, I don't know that it will yet, but ultimately that's the uh, plan. Uh, but yeah, I do still need to figure out what's, what's up with that. Uh, that's a pretty good glitch. Uh, I can't remember if I uh, enabled the uh, the beta uh, version or like the testing version or not. Uh, if I did, I'm gonna have to stick with it when I save the game here, because that will probably bump the save game version. Uh, I can't remember, so I'll have to I'll have to take a look. If I am using the testing version, that might be why that happened. Um, right, okay, so we can close out of that. Uh, the train is showing a, a profit again. Well, this, this train itself is showing a, a pretty solid profit, so, so that's a good sign. Uh, so we got 39 on board here, so when that uh, delivers, yeah, we don't want to put more than three, uh, three coaches on there. Not until we have stronger uh, locos. Uh, right, so hopefully this uh, this arrives and gives us a nice tidy sum. Now, I may have to rebuild this to fix the glitchiness here, and that that'll be fine, uh, I think. Uh, I wonder if it glitched because I was messing around here. Uh, okay, so we have a delivery here. 260k so uh, yeah and we're taking 41 back okay so so that's uh, that's good I'm gonna see if I can uh, well up the brush size here and the strength um, yeah okay that fixed some of that. Um, but why is it, uh, oh, no money, that's why, okay. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I can fix that by flattening the land here, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna borrow that back, uh, let that be pinned. Nope. Here. And... Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna need... Uh, I'm gonna need the smoothing gun here, too. Uh, yeah. But you need some actual money. Yeah, so that fixed it. So... Uh, it got confused, uh, and flattening this out actually is probably not a bad idea. Um, 
yeah, so it'll need some smoothing gun action in there. But, yeah. Uh, so that'll fix it. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll smooth that out here. Uh, right. So smoothing gun. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's way better. Uh, you do realize that you're going uh, just a little bit crazy with this thing, yeah? Yeah, I guess I do, but it doesn't that look way better? Yeah, yeah, I suppose it does. Uh, okay, well, that's enough smoothing gun action. Uh, but, you know, now we don't have to rebuild the station. We don't have it sticking out of the ground. Uh, that just looked dumb. Uh, okay, so so we're getting uh, passengers coming across here, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, everything looks like it's uh, it's working uh, pretty well here. So yeah, uh, I think I'm good with that. Wait, okay, we can uh, close that out and close that out. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're still uh, net profitable. Yeah, if you take 780k and add it to minus 460k, you come out with a net positive. So yeah, uh, we're we're okay there. So uh, yeah, so as long as I leave the smoothing gun and the flattening gun uh, alone, yeah, we should be good. Uh, anyway, uh, that's gonna be all for uh, for this episode here. Uh, you know, we got the the first uh, train line up on our network and. Uh, and we're uh, turning a profit on that already, so uh, I guess I'll be uh, looking at uh, maybe maybe connecting up uh, some of the uh, industries here. But no, I think I need to get uh, get a little bit more profit making going on. So I'll uh, probably. Uh, yeah, I'll probably extend the train maybe next time. No, no, I'll have to have a think about it. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not sure exactly what would be the ideal thing to do here. Uh, I could certainly, uh, certainly bring, uh, bringing the uh, iron uh, over to the uh, steel mill might be uh, might be the smart thing to do, and then. Uh, then we can get uh, actually we could get machine machines uh, online. Yeah, yeah, I think getting machines online would be smart because we we can deliver those to Thornton. So yeah, yeah, that that'll definitely be the thing to do. So yeah, yeah, I think that's a plan. Okay, good. Uh, so that's the plan for next time, uh, getting machines production online for Thornton. So uh, that's uh, that's it for this time. Uh, you, there should be another episode of this up uh, probably Monday, uh, as usual. And uh, from there, uh, we'll uh, just keep plodding along on this map and see where it gets us. Anyway, that's all for now. See you back next time.